I've got my life invested in you right now. Can't turn my back on all the greetings. My name is Applewise. Together, we are known as Green's Connection from the small island of Grenada. And everything has its price. All my Together on this channel, we talk anything music. Father, as we come to you with this message, we ask that you guide and protect those who feel lost and those in need. We are not perfect people, but as time flies, we learn and teach as your words and lessons taught to us. And last March 2011, I was going through some songs that I um, wanted to put on the album that is being released on September the 11th. Just for you, girl, I'm committed. In this episode, let's take a look at Third World. They did tracks like Railroad Track, 96 Degrees in the Shade, Now That We Found Love, Cool Meditation, and a load more of hits. Third World started when keyboard player Michael Ibu Cooper and guitarist Stephen Cat Core, who had originally played in Alley Cats and Inner Circle, subsequently left to form their own band along with Inner Circle, Milton Pretty Hamilton. They recruited bassist Richard Daly, formerly of Ken Boots Band and Tomorrow's Children, and added drummer Carl Barovier and former Inner Circle percussionist Irvin Carroll Jarrett before making their own live duet in early 1974. And yes. the experience, the folks, the fruits, the, the, the smell of the various stones, Portland, Port Antonio, Negro, Montego Bay, Ocho Rias. I mean, a great place, man. It's right now, it's, it's, it's great to be in Jamaica. Oh, yeah. It's a great Absolutely. feeling. Absolutely. You can boast. Not about just the sports and the music, but we can boast about our people and our country so that we have achieved so much in just 50 years. Can you imagine Jamaica was 400 years, man? After recording some tracks with Godfrey Chung, which were not released, the band's first singles were self-produced railroad tracks. In the early days, they played primarily in Kingston's Hotel and nightclubs, and along with the Whalers, supported the Jackson 5 when they played at Jamaica National Stadium. When I saw you in Chicago mm -hmm. the other day, it was a pleasure because I always think that more journalists, Jamaican journalists, mm -hmm. should come on tour with yes. people like Beres, being a man, third world, mm -hmm. and really come back and tell the Jamaican people what our music and our culture, what it does to people abroad. Every day they just treat a chance, even when they see us too. They wonder why I've got you, I know why They were soon signed by Island Records and toured Europe with The Wailers. The band's self-titled duet album was released in 1976. The album included a cover of Sata Masagana, originally performed by the Abyssinians, which became a local hit. Hamilton and Connell Marshall were replaced by two more former Inner Circle members, singer William Bunny Rocks Clark and drummer Willie Stewart before the recording of their second album, 96 Degrees in the Shade, 1977, which included several local hits. Notable among its eight tracks, after a reference to the 1865 Laurent Bay Revolution, Rhythm of Life and the album's only cover, Dreamland written by Bonnie Wheeler, they played in front of 80,000 people at the Smile Jamaica Festival in 1976. In 1977, the band collaborated with psychiatrist Frederick A. Klein at the explanation show that was performed at Kingston's Little Theatre early the following year. Todd Wall's greatest success came in the late 1970s and early 1980s, speaking with a cover version never, never, never leave me alone, of the OJs, Now That We Found Love, from Todd Wall. Todd Wall's greatest from their third Journey album, Journey to Addis. After its initial recording, the single was remixed at the behest of Island Records Special Projects Division head, Alex Masushi. With new vocals and an up-tempo beat, Now That We Found Love became a hit single on both sides of the Atlantic in 1978, reaching the top 10 in the UK. La, 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 la. That's right. 
Journey to Addis became a top 30 hit album in the UK. They had first met Stevie Wonder in Jamaica in 1976 and the single promoted him to perform with them at Reggae Sun Splash Festival in the 1981 in the wake of Bob Marley's death. Playing his tribute to Mali, Master Blaster, the third world went on to perform several times at the festival and they also took part in the reggae sun splash usa tour in 1985. wonder also wrote along with melody a macaulay their 1982 hit try Ja love which brought them further exposure in north america they were also guests during the third season of sctv amid claims of artistic differences carol split from the band in the mid 1980s the resulting five-piece band went on to record more commercial tunes such as sense of purpose Reggae Ambassador, Forbidden Love and Committed. The version of Now That We Found Love was used as a basis of Heavy D's 1991 hit rap version. In 1992, they returned to work with Steven Stewart and Godfrey Chung on the album Committed. In 1983, Tolwood had crossover success in the UK jazz funk since their reggae single Lagos Jump, largely thanks to Robbie Vincent and Jeff Young, who played the 12 inch version of the Radio London shows. The track also became popular on the London club scene and, in particular, at Flicks in Darfur. Telstar Record released a double album compilation in 1983, which collected up to all mainstream club extended versions. When I was leaving, I said to him, How would he feel about doing 96 Degrees Over, a new version? And he said it would be it would be an honor. That was his words to me. And from that things started to happen, and we started to get together, and you know, so we just blended the whole family in together. And um, it's really cool. It's really cool being with ghetto youths. You know, um, they just there's something about what they're doing. Uh, they're looking at music in a very positive way. And um, they're looking at music not in just a positive way, but in a very musical way as well. And remixes by artists and groups that had enjoyed relatively good UK chart success between 1981 and 1983. Entitling the groove, the completion's lead track on part two was Thirdwell's extended version of Dancing on the Floor, Hooked on Love. The track had originally been released in 1981 in 7-inch edited and 12-inch extended versions and included on Told World's Rock the World album. With the release of Telstar Completion, this brought about an upsurge of interest in Told World's dance floor output, certainly paved the way for the next two years recording with Columbia Records CBS. In 1985, the group's focus steered by shifting music scene with the release of Scene of Purpose. The single was released as a 7-inch edit. Also in 1985, now that we found love was back in the UK charts again as Paul Hardcastle decided to release a club remix but as it was Case of the Train remix putting the Hardcastle signature song of electronic keyboards on the track and reverbing the opening vocal. Thank you for watching.